Hello everyone. Welcome to Now Demi. In the previous lecture, you were learning that what is the difference between Adobe Photoshop versus Adobe Illustrator. And in the end, you learned that each program has its own features and it's really up to you how to you use each program. So now in today's lecture, you will be learning the basic interface of Adobe Illustrator and also you will learn that how do you create your first artboard in Adobe Illustrator. So let's get started. When you first time open Adobe Illustrator, you would see interface like this, which basically requires you to create new page or an artboard. Click on the create new. In the next interface, you will be having bunch of options from which you can choose, like save templates, mobile related screen templates. If you are working with mobile related illustration, web related illustrations, you can choose from here. And similarly, if you are working with print related tasks. You can choose A4, letter size pages, print large, legal, and so on. Similarly for film and video, and art and illustration as well. In art and illustration, you can choose postcard, business cards, and of course a page size of your own choice. And obviously, if none of the options are of your choice, you can create an artboard of your choice from here. Here in this preset, you decide width and height. I would say. The height is 500 and here you choose whether you want your illustration in pixels, points, inches and things like that. So most of the illustrations in Adobe Illustrator is done in pixels. So I would choose pixels, 500 pixels by 500. So the height and width is going to be same and here I can choose the orientation whether I want portrait or landscape. It's really up to me. As in the earlier lecture, I've already mentioned that in Adobe Illustrator, you can have multiple artboards. While in Adobe Photoshop, you have only one artboard. So I can have multiple artboards right here, but I will choose the one. So that's enough for now. I will click on create. You have created your first artboard in Adobe Illustrator. When you create your first artboard, you would see interface like this. In the left side, you would see mostly used tools. You can click on this toggle button. In the top bar, you would see varieties of menus as every single software has. I will define all these tools and options in my next upcoming lectures one by one. So make sure you have click on the bell icon so you have the notification. In the effects section, we implement designing on the objects. In the view bar, you would see tons of artboard related options. Windows option is quite important. From this option, you can choose which panels you want to embed into your current window. Click on this icon and you will see different types of panels in the window. Click on Ascension and you would see the simple one panel right here. If I choose the classic Ascension, it will have more options like color guides, color switches, color palettes, brushes and things like that. <laughs> I can edit this panel too as per my choice like I can drag this from here or if I don't want it to be appear here I can simply close the beauty of the Adobe Illustrator is that it allows you a fully customized environment now as you have seen that I've removed layers panel from here I can get that back from Windows option click on this layer and you will have it back set it right here and I'm done if you want to have another option, you can simply choose from Windows, like Navigator. You can choose where you want to fit it. Yes. Gradient. A fully customized environment. It's really up to you which tools you want to keep and which you don't want to. In the right search bar, you can search for Adobe Stock like images, illustration, or any other already saved designs. In the library option, you simply add the stuff to the Creative Cloud suit and can be accessible by any Creative Cloud suit program like font installation or any shape you simply create can simply drag and drop to the library and, you, and later on you can access that shape from Photoshop as well. If you click on Arrange Documents, you would see design types of multiple artboards. Now if I create a new artboard from here, click on create, 
and now I'm having two artboards in front of me. I can choose from here if I want to keep a single artboard at a time or if I want to keep multiple artboards at a time I can choose from here. And I can choose this option from here too. I can simply define number of artboards here. You can see in the right side when you click on any object or any artboard the related properties will appear right here. Ruler, grid lines and things like that. You can create many artboards as much as you want right from here. For example, if you are designing a business card, the front view and the back view, you want both views at a time in front of you. So you will have to create two artboards in this case. In that example, you can go with this setting. The rest of the tools I will be making you learn in my next upcoming videos. So you need to keep an eye on every notification. In the left hand bottom, you have scroller. You can go up and down simply. And if your artboard setting is out, you can simply press Ctrl 0 or go to the view option and click on fit to the window option and you are all set so you can see that adobe illustrator is a fully customized application software where you can have number of options of your own choice if you need any help from adobe illustrator or if you want to know your adobe illustrator version you can you can go to the help section click on system info and you will be having all the details right there you can copy these details too so this was the introduction to the Adobe Illustrator interface. Hope you enjoyed the video and if you enjoyed, subscribe my channel and share this video with everyone. In the next section, you will be learning types and usage of selection tool. See you there. Thank you.